In this video, you're gonna learn how to turn your passion and your hobbies and your interests into profit. <laughs> to truly enjoy the moment. I feel like I really didn't understand what that meant until I started making money online passively. Because prior to making money online, I was working a nine to five job. I felt like I was always stressed out. And when I clocked out or got out of work and I went home, I didn't leave my job up in here. I was unable to focus in the moment because I was still either stressed about work or a coworker or an email or a client. And now things have changed. I'm living this simple good life, literally living in a van, traveling across the country, making videos. And if it wasn't for this side hustle that you're about to learn today, I would never even be here. This is by far one of my favorite side hustles because it's truly one of those online business models where you can put your heart in, your passion in, and you're gonna make money by helping people with whatever skills that you have. I'm not talking about teaching business. I'm talking about teaching whatever you're good at. Are you good at craftsmanship? Are you good at woodworking? Are you good at coaching soccer? Are you good at lifting weights? Are you good at teaching? Are you good at sign language? Are you good at a Spanish and want to teach people? The possibilities are endless. And if there's one thing that had a surge in demand because of COVID, it was learning online because we didn't have the ability to basically go and learn in person with the scare of catching COVID. Learning online has already been a massive trend, a macro trend just growing and growing. And then when COVID shut down the real world, online was the only option for people wanting to improve. I think what COVID did to the online e-learning world is that it made it normal. It made it normal to meet people via Zoom, learn on live streams, tune into groups of strangers all around the world. That is now normal thanks to COVID. There's literally millions of searches every single day of people wanting to learn something from someone like you. My very first side hustle was actually teaching people how to dance, the robot because that's what I love to do. I wasn't an expert at it by any means. I actually learned how to dance from YouTube. And uh, I feel like one of the best ways to get better at something is to actually teach. So teaching people how to dance was my very first side hustle. I'm super embarrassed to show you this, but this is actually my very first tutorial I ever made. What up, my name is Adrian, I like the dance. I'm cringing. So this move, we are body waving oh, on the ground. We're doing a body wave on the ground. Oh, it, uh, oh it's so no, hard to watch. Move is kind of like doing a reverse worm, yeah. Uh, yeah. except instead of being on your stomach. Thanks for bearing with me through those very painful moments. I wanted to show you that because um, often when you get into this side hustle of teaching people online, creating these mini classes or tutorials, um, making money is actually pretty easy. The hard part is all the mental stuff that happens. So like I cringe in my earlier videos, but I haven't deleted them. I've left them all up because they're a learning lesson. But when you're teaching, it's it's you, it's your face potentially, or it's your voice behind a screen recorder teaching maybe a programming language or how to build a website or how to design something um, or paint. And uh, naturally, because you have that attraction and attention when you're creating this content and you're the teacher, you're gonna have eyeballs on you and the mental barriers of like imposter syndrome are gonna pop up like they're like, who am I to be teaching, you know, about this a certain thing because there's other people who are so much better. There's always going to be people better looking, richer, and more talented than you are. And the whole point why you should, on top of those reasons, still do it is because of one word, relatability. It's true that the relatability factor is weighted more than the actual skill sets of the person you're learning from. You want to relate to them. And when you relate to them, you're actually going to attain that information, retain that information much more and you'll soak it in and you'll actually take action more based on the relatability factor. So there are people who relate to you, your life story, your age, your demographic, your location, what makes you funny, what makes you interesting, they relate to you. And there's a really famous blog article called 1000 True Fans. It's um, timeless because it, it created the concept that you don't, in order to have run a full-time income from, from an online business, you don't need millions of followers. In fact, you just need a thousand. This counts for musicians and side hustlers alike. Um, a thousand true fans who basically, you can create something of value worth $40 in a year or $50. That's a $50,000 income. That's in a lot of places in the world, a pretty solid 
salary. So getting behind the lens or a screen recorded teaching someone how to do something online is amazing. You're going to help them out. And if you can get over the mental barriers, you're going to be able to actually make an impact in people's lives and get paid for it. And the best part is you don't even need a following because now in this era of e-learning, there's actually marketplaces that you can go to and get an encyclopedia of classes from uh, teachers all around the world. Two that I'm going to actually be teaching in this video are Udemy and Skillshare. There's plenty of others out there, but I like to bring these up because they're absolutely free to start and there's a very low tech barrier to get in. Um, if you want, if your teaching involves behind a camera, yes, you're going to, and a phone is, is totally cool. Um, or a screen recorder. Those are basically the two routes. Or you could do a whiteboard. You can make it as fancy or as non-fancy non as, as you want. So the training you're about to see is actually from one of my most popular courses I've ever created called Side Hustle Academy. It breaks down literally a dozen different awesome ways to make money online. And this is just one video from that course. So I'm giving it to you complimentary so you can learn about um, Skillshare and Udemy and teaching online. And I hope you enjoy. In this video, we're gonna learn about the amazing passive, easy to start side hustle of taking what you know and selling it in the form of education or as a product to help and teach other people. This is actually the very first side hustle I ever created online. I didn't actually know I was doing it at the time. Uh, I was posting videos on YouTube teaching people how to dance. I would make a little tutorial, teach people an arm wave, then head isolations, and all of a sudden I started building this library of tutorials people were watching, and I started to make a little money from AdSense on YouTube. Um, and then, uh, and again, that money really wasn't a lot, but where it literally switched, where I was make, my side hustle after a couple of years was making like 50 bucks a month, um, I created a product, a 60 minute, tutorial that people could buy for $25 a pop. And when I created that product, I already built the audience and stuff because I was basically doing it for free. Um, that first month I made $500. It was insane. So the concept of teaching what you know is, I think, the and people call it the info market. Taking what you know and teaching it and, and charging people a fair price is a side hustle that will be around forever. People in the world, there's usually like, you can break down two different things, right? This is like, the, this is like almost like money principles 101. People have money, other people have experience. And so typically, people with money will pay for the knowledge and your experience. And you don't have to be accredited, you don't have to be like, even go to college to be a teacher. Like, and, and if you're a teacher right now, you'd be like, well, I, I don't like what you just said there, but he, this is the truth. I'm a, I'm a teacher and I've made six figures, like over six figures last year being a teacher. A teaching doesn't really happen in the school in terms of this side hustle that I'm talking about. I'm talking about selling online and, and your knowledge can be about absolutely anything. Maybe it has, it, and it can be completely unrelated to your field. I'm a, I was a dancer, so I created dance tutorials and I sold that. Uh, I sold, I made, I started, I made my first product, like I said, and then I made five different products. That little side hustle was making the five grand a month back in its heyday. That's sick. Where could I find, where could I be a dancer at a dance studio and make that kind of money? It's, it, it doesn't exist. Uh, and then I've expanded to teach, you know, things about marketing, things about research, things about data, things about e-commerce. And man, I have... I have hundreds of premium tutorials now that I charge. Some, some of my courses even cost thousands, a thousand dollars just to get the course. And people pay that and they're stoked with it too. Because again, the, the biggest battle with being a teacher and selling online is that uh, unlike a school system where you kind of get, uh, you don't really have a choice at the end of the day. You, you go to the school, you don't really know who, which professors you're gonna get and what their credit, you know, how good they are. In the online world, it's the opposite. It's this open forum. You can learn from anyone. So your price is a reflection of the value. So if you're charging $10,000 and it's a crappy course, it's like they would have like really should have been valued at 20 bucks. People are going to ask for a refund and they're going to be super pissed. So I've charged all the way, you know, my, I think my highest ticket coursing uh, course program is around like, 
uh, that I've sold so far, because I mean, things can be more expensive in the future, was like six grand. And those people, I had zero refunds off it too, because I made sure the value was there. Anyways, so in education, taking what you know, um, it's a massive opportunity in every single niche, every single space. If you like fishing and, and you like fly fishing, like teaching people how to do fly fishing, like there's literally endless possibilities. If you're a financial advisor, like one way you could like create like a simple little budget uh, course, put it online. People will watch it. People will pay. Um, I, I've seen all kinds of things. Maybe you're good at like a sport like spike ball or maybe you're good at chess. You can make tutorials on that and people will pay. There, it, it is literally, I, I can't think of a bad thing to teach online. There's literally a niche uh, for everything. So I want to talk uh, uh, about the biggest problem that you'll face if this is a side hustle that's for you. Um, and it's called, it's something called imposter syndrome, which is basically something that I think if you're going to be a teacher online, you might face this one day. Um, I, I did at the beginning when I was teaching dance because I knew I wasn't the best dancer in the world. I knew that the, I was not, not even the best teacher in the world, far from both. And so I got in my head when people started wanting me to create a tutorial to, that I actually was going to charge for. I was like, geez, like, who am I to create a tutorial and, and ask for money? Like, what are my accreditations? Like, may I, have a, I had a little professional experience back in the day. I had two with T-Pain. But compared to the other teachers, like, who had, you know, world tour, it was their whole life. I was in Iowa. I was in Dubuque, Iowa, making these tutorials. So I got in my head. It's like, who am I to do that? But here's the thing. Like, this is not even a real problem. This is, called, this is a fake problem that, uh, that exists in your mind, not in the real world. Because I have... I, since I created those products, I have impacted literally thousands of people. My videos have been seen by millions of people. And I've literally, like people, uh, I, I was just in Portugal um, in 2019, and there was this guy who is now like 22, used to watch, he literally, I have over 300 videos online, he watched like all of them. And like, he was freaking out just to meet, meet me. It was a very humbling experience. Like I was basically a superhero to him because I taught him how to dance. He shared stories of like when he was in high school, he like jumped in a circle and he was like a quiet kid. Like all that stuff is amazing. It, it like, it's so awesome. If I would have let imposter syndrome take over, like I wouldn't have an experience where I could actually meet someone like that. And that literally is how, like I've had those scenarios where I'm around or, or walking and I run into people or people message me online like their whole life stories from learning uh, from me. And, it, and the thing about teaching, it's not about being the best. It's not even being at the top 10, top 20, top 100. It's about you as a person, me as a person, we're going to relate. Like the way I teach, some people hate it. Some people find it annoying. Other people love it. And I don't, if, if I can just, I always think when I make any type of tutorial, if I can just impact one person and that person truly like learn, gain value, like that's what it all comes down to. It's not about my, when I'm, any of the stuff I've ever made, I never made it. It's like, this is going to be the best. No, my, my mindset is like, I know that if I make this video, there's going to be a handful of people out there. They're going to actually learn, take value from it and apply it. And if you have that mindset, I don't know what niche you know, when you're evaluating if you're going to be a teacher, you got to kind of like write down all the things you're good at, which is an exercise I, I wanted to do. Now, because um, this is how you decide, you know, what you should be a teach, what you should teach about. Teaching doesn't have to be in front of a camera like this, because I think this right here, this is, this is hard to get used to, talking to a screen. But, you know, like I said, I've, now I have probably over made 500 different videos. It becomes very natural. It's not at the beginning. No one's born like being able to talk basically to themselves. <laughs> um, but if you want to be a teacher, this is basically the exact brainstorming process I did. Once I figured out that this is a massive opportunity, there's really low risk. You create your content once you put it on the internet and it's super passive as well. It's amazing. You do need some video equipment, but I argue that if you, if you have an iPhone, you basically have everything you need. You don't need the fancy uh, tripod and the microphone. like that. You work up to that. But one of the best ways to, to get started is you basically do uh, what's called a brain dump. 
And this is where you're literally evaluating, figuring out what you're actually good at. What, in your, what areas in your life are you proud about? Or do you feel like you're, you're on it? Because I know there's some. There's definitely some. No one's perfect, but there's probably something you do better than someone else. And those are the kind of things you want to write down on this board. So for me, like today, and this, this is you know, a list that changes, but like I would put marketing. I'm just going to put Mark for short. Of course, like dance. I feel like I'm, I, I'm good. And you're really just, you're not writing a brag list here. You're writing things that you're actually, you feel like you could teach just based on your experience. Again, I don't care what your accredita accreditations are. Um, I feel like I could talk about money now because I've always been a good saver. And I feel like for my age right now and how much my, I, I've accumulated, that's um, super rare. So I, I can help impact a lot of people through that. Um, I'm going to write something on here that I'm not an expert at, but I'm about to go uh, travel through Asia and I'm going to learn Muay Thai. Uh, uh, and, and some other martial arts. And I know eventually I'll, I'll, I'll want to get to the point where maybe I can teach like MMA um, for beginners uh, to people out there. And, and, and from my experience of what I've learned, uh, coming from someone who's literally never punched anyone in their life, like that's going to be me trying to like first doing it and then now being able to teach it. So it really comes down to thinking about what, what you can teach, and I'm gonna get really silly here, but like literally, you could teach people how to like knit. Like if that was something you you did, you could teach someone like, uh, and you can think of like even the person like let's say you have a kid right now and you're teaching your kid about a lot of things. Like uh, there's probably other parents who would love to like if uh, be good teachers to their kids as well. Maybe that is coming up with ideas. Maybe. You have, maybe you have a good social media following so you could teach how to, how to grow an audience, grow social media. Um, you know, there's, there's this, this is, everyone's board's gonna be a little different, but this is the brain dump because each one of these is gonna come up with all different ways you can reach out and, and create content and charge people. Now, the thing I'm gonna challenge you, if this is a, a, um, a side hustle that you wanna try, and I definitely encourage you, I think everyone is a teacher, I've read a couple of books where um, the book says that everyone in the world could probably has enough life experience to write their own book and you could learn a lot. I believe in that. Everyone, I, I would add to that in this regard that everyone is really could be a teacher about something. Um, so I'm going to write down two websites right now uh, because this was crazy about once you create your video content, literally you don't even have to build a website and you can monetize off of it. So the first website, this is like the easiest way to monetize off your educational content is called Skillshare.com. And um, I think I've, I've posted maybe four videos on here and that was in the last couple of months I've, and I've already made over $500 passive income. I call it passive because I made the videos, I did it one time, I posted it and then now it's going to make a couple hundred bucks uh, every single month, like, I don't know, for a long time. The other one is you... Udemy, um, and Udemy, it, it's a little, you actually have to create like a more of a structured course, like outline type of stuff. Um, versus Skillshare, you could literally upload, I think like even just one 20 minute video and it's monetized basically off um, uh, views. So like I think the, uh, I, I got like a thousand views in the first month, people who watched my videos and uh, I think I made like around 70, 80 bucks. So just to give you some perspective, if, if you get a thousand monetized views on YouTube, you're gonna make like $3, $4. So on Skillshare, it's based off like royalties almost, like 70 bucks, 80 bucks, and they say even a up to 100 bucks per thousand views. That's crazy, that's absolutely crazy. Udemy, it, when you create and upload your course on Udemy, um, you basically have to create a set price of products. You might charge like 20 bucks where this is royalty, so basically permanently. But the first year I uploaded just one course on Udemy, on Udemy I made 3K. Crazy. And then you know what I did? I took pieces of the Udemy course, and then I uploaded it to Skillshare. So I'm like double monetizing off the same content. It's insane. Now, I think this is 
like fundamentally, everyone should have a course on Skillshare and Udemy. And there's tools you can, you know, part of the um, foundation, one of the foundation talk research, how do you know what course to make? Once you p figure out, well, I'm really good at, like I, I could create a course on budgeting or saving tips or like meal prepping. Um, then it's like, well, what, how should I make my course stand out? That's, the pro that's like, let's say you want to make a meal prepping course, go on Skillshare, type in the keywords uh, that would trigger that course to pop up and see what's out there. How can you make it better? Or how can you have a different spin? It doesn't really have to be better, it just can be different. How can you make it, think about like a persona of like, this person it would be better off to buy my course if they were a mom, if uh, they're a young adult, if they're older. You know, like think about the person, because again, it's not about being the best teacher, it's about just being relatable to a subset of people. Um, so, and it's crazy, you can create a, a course on Udemy, you can upload to Skillshare, um, and, then, and then we can move over to the more advanced tactics. Then, you know, you could actually create an entire course website. And then, and then you can start to try to rank that on, on Google or even run ads for it. I, mean, I would say this is, this, is more, this is more for the advanced because now you, gotta, you, know, you may not know how to create a website right now and you ha you'll have to learn how to do all that. I think there's you, a few Google searches and you can basically learn all this. But for starters, Udemy and Skillshare are brilliant. I'll show you my dashboards of, bo of both these platforms and, and we'll do a quick walkthrough of each. But it's crazy, like, um, like you're probably working somewhere right now, or you're a student somewhere. You could, there's, if you just think from the lens, put on your like, what could I be a good teacher about lens? Like you should be able to come up with ideas and I don't care how silly or weird they sound, it does not hurt at all to upload them to either of these platforms. Their, Skillshare does not charge you. Udemy does not charge you. How they make their money is through royalties. How they make their money is they basically take a percentage of every sale that comes in. So it's literally free to try this side hustle. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. And all you have to do is remember, like when you, your course, like any course, no matter what it is, always focus on value. Is it worth it for people, not, we'll take away dollar signs. Is it worth, my course is an hour long, is it worth someone's hour to spend watching my videos and learning? Is it worth $100? Is it worth $10,000? You can create a $10,000 course, they exist. I haven't bought one yet, but I've been tempted. Grant Cardone, he's a real estate guy, he has a $10,000 course, almost bought it, almost bought it. And I bet it's worth more than 10,000. So think about value uh, when you're teaching. But it's an amazing side hustle. It's how I got started. And what's so crazy, you know, when you start, I had now, I know I do, I do probably way too much. I, I have a bunch of side hustles, but this, I love, if, let's say, I, like, this is what I did. I created like e-commerce stores and I was running ads, but I wasn't good at those ads at the beginning. So I was losing money, but I never had to dip into my personal savings. Cause I, I created my courses, I posted them here. I was making the income from the courses from the free strategies. And then I was using that extra 500, extra 200, extra 300 dollars, and I was fueling that. And instead of taking that home and buying stuff or saving it, I was using that in my ads. So it never really felt like I was losing that money because I was just reinvested. And I think the educational side hustle is the best, one of the best side hustles to basically create something from scratch, make income, and then that's up to you. If you want to, you know, be a full-time side hustler take that income and try to boost uh, the sales of your course through ads, through the ad engine. Or if you're like, man, I just, I posted my courses or I'm uploading a co course once a month now and I'm now I'm making $500 a month, that's all I need for me, perfect. Let's dive into Skillshare and Udemy uh, where we can go into how to do research, how to navigate the platforms and create a profile and all just used my uh, insights on these platforms, I'll give you the context to how I've utilized them. Um, let's start with Udemy. So once you create a profile, uh, again, Udemy is absolutely free. Uh, you, you basically create like a, a course profile, basic information, you have like a bio here, you can list your social media uh, account. 
um, create a picture, and that's about it. It's basically like creating a Facebook profile. Um, I got my dashboard uh, preset here, and I'll give you some context to the revenue I made on, on Udemy, because it was so easy. I created, I actually take that back, I didn't even create a new course. I uploaded a previous course I had made, but just that wasn't on Udemy. I uploaded it within the first month, it made $142, then 305, then 249, then 447, and it basically continued on very passively and uh, up until March 2019 and started to, uh, to really go down. Uh, I know why it went down. It's basically because people were asking questions and I like have not logged in in a super long time. You have to kind of keep up with questions and reviews from students. I totally didn't do that. My bad, Udemy. Um, but it's super passive. I created a course here. I'll show you the courses. Uh, I've like uploaded a few, a few since then. But I can basically say I uploaded one course super passive, I didn't touch it, literally did not touch it, and in the first year made $3,000 off that. That's not bad for basically not doing much. Um, that's didn't involve my time or anything. Um, so now, uh, this is just other stats on the course, so I've I've uploaded a few, a few new ones, but this was my main course right here. It was basically how to do research for drop shipping. Um, click on the details, so uh, I, again, this was a course I actually had. It was part of a, a, a bigger course that I had via ClickFunnels, and I just added this. Um, and it's crazy. So it's basically a mini course. And to create the course is, you know, it's up to you how many videos you want to include, how long they are. Uh, but it, it's it's so easy uh, to create a, a course on here. What's awesome about Udemy is um, the research process. They have this tool section. So on the Marketplace Insights, you can click. And let's say you wanted to type, uh, this is where you can do some of your almost like keyword research, except it's strictly from Udemy's database. Um, so let's just type in, I don't know, ping pong, see what happens. Table tennis. So what's cool is based off that topic, it's going to let you know the demand, the number of current courses. And so, and then also if there's currently courses, it can tell you the average revenue or the top monthly revenue. Um, so pretty fascinating. Let's find let's find another one. Let's do uh, writing. A little hint to bring your A game. So it looks like there's a high demand. There's also a high number of courses. So the median monthly revenue uh, per course is $27. And the top monthly revenue, $7,800. Crazy. Uh, Let's try drop shipping. Oh, wow, writing is more fascinating. I uploaded a few dance courses on here. 34. Yeah, so, I mean, this is enough information for you to figure out if your idea is good. You know, I've said this before. I don't really believe in saturation. I think the internet's too big for that so even if it does have high competition uh, make a course it does not hurt to upload it on here and maybe it won't scale to big numbers really fast because uh, there's a lot of competition but an extra hundred dollars a month for that you're gonna make passively I'll always take that bet so it's it's a pretty cool tool let's go to Skillshare now so Skillshare I'm, I'm newer on I haven't even been on there for six months and here's what's fascinating about Skillshare, and this is how I look at all my side hustles, uh, is I like to measure based off progress, not necessarily the result. So I uploaded my first course in September 2019 at the very end, uh, very end, probably in the last week. So this doesn't really count. My very first month of having my a course on Skillshare made $82.21. You might be saying, Boo, that's lame. I'm not going to do this side hustle. But I have not touched it, this course or even Skillshare since then. And again, I, I care about progress, not the result. So by, by measuring progress, here's how I look at that. The next month, my revenue doubled passively from $82 to 167 Again, no extra time. This is passive income definition of 
And then the following month, I made $193. And if I look at these stats from just yesterday, the day before, like these are people consuming my content. I'm getting new students, five students a day, nine students a day. Like it's working passively. This is going to continue to produce income. I like this these numbers so much that I think I'm going to keep adding courses on Skillshare. On Skillshare, you can add basically a new course every single week. I think the minimum um, um, content depth has to be 20 minutes, but that's pretty freaking cool. Um, let's click on all my classes. So you can see the classes I've created, how many people are, are, are joined. I have one course here. It looks like it has 102 people on, but... All these, I, I didn't make these courses unique to Skillshare. They're literally other video content from YouTube and other places that I literally just uploaded here. Um, so you don't have to, and they're, and they're not high production value either. As long as you have a phone or a screen recorder app, um, you can do it. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Again, you want to make a nice profile page. Profile pages matter. Uh, so... I have a little bio video here and then some stats about me. Um, it's kind of like humble brags, but basically just put your bio, what you would do on your LinkedIn page. Uh, you put it up here. So Skillshare and Udemy, they're amazing platforms. Um, everyone I think has the ability to teach something that they're good at. And this is an amazing side hustle. There's no cost to get started. You just have to be creative, be a little good at talking, um, and recording and a little bit of video editing just to clip uh, uh, videos together and that's it you could start creating courses on Skillshare upload a class every single week or create uh, courses on Udemy uh, to get started I hope you enjoyed this side hustle I definitely do out of all the side hustles that I have teaching is definitely the most fulfilling well what do you think that's the side hustle of teaching online and there's places like Skillshare and Udemy that allow you to create this content, put it out there for free, and boom, you just created a passive money opportunity. Again, I wanted to mention that if you like this video, you're probably gonna love my full uh, course, Side Hustle Academy, which breaks down like so many different ways to make money online. I created it just for beginners, uh, for someone who has no experience and they just wanna learn what are all the things you can do out there. And so not only do you learn different side hustles, you actually get a strategy on each one. You can find the link in my bio to check it out or you can go to adrianbrambilo.com slash side hustle. Comment any questions you have about teaching online. Um, I'm happy to help. Creating my first dance tutorials online is basically what started my first business, teaching people how to dance. And it's been a blessing to watch them, like watch my videos. And then these kids are now grown adults. Kind of makes me feel old. But I've gotten amazing stories when I was teaching dance, like um, uh, kids who were like the dorky, nerdy kid. And then at prom, they danced in the circle and that was a highlight for them of the year. I've had kids who like were the shy people and then they auditioned for the uh, talent show and they ended up winning. And I've had some students even like actually become pro from watching my videos. So it's been awesome. I love teaching. It's my favorite side hustle uh, that I definitely personally get the most gratification from, uh, from helping. And now obviously I'm teaching people business, which uh, provides even more um, awesomeness. Make sure you get all the resources that go with my free 30 day YouTube course. You can get it at adrianbrainbilo.com slash 30 days. It comes with a free email training plus some bonus resources when you go there. Again, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video and learning about the side hustle of teaching online. If this is something you think you want to try, I would love to hear what your ideas are below. Otherwise, we'll catch you in tomorrow's video where we dive into a side hustle that's made me a lot of money. We'll stay tuned for then. Peace. When I started my very first side hustle, I was working at a call center making $27,000 a year. If I could pinpoint how I got from then to now, it would definitely be by the power of habit. It's one of the hardest things to create, but once you have it, you feel unstoppable. To help you build it, I've created the Side Hustle Journal, which is a daily journal that will help hold you accountable to working on your side hustle and creating an amazing business and life that you love. Go to adrianbrambilla.com journal to check it out today.